The next award is the Excellence in Online Journalism Award, which we're presenting this year to SyriaDeeply.org for its use of various digital tools in creating a website that thoroughly explores a single topic. And this is a topic on which reporting is extremely difficult. And ferreting out what's true and what isn't is a real challenge. And what Sarah's done here is a real contribution to a kind of journalism that I think we see too little of. So I'm gonna give you Sarah, uh, Lara Satrakian and a brief video. Hi, welcome to Syria Deeply, a redesign of the foreign news experience meant to help you follow a complex global issue. Context is key to understanding the crisis, so we've put together the Syria files. There you'll find essential background information to help you get up to speed on the country, its people, and its politics. Here at the top, our bulletin displays the latest breaking news in one concise line. This is the forum, which features our original reporting and analysis written by seasoned journalists on our editorial team. In the snippet box, we collect our favorite articles from around the web on News of the Day. We've got the Daily Take, an audio briefing posted on SoundCloud. You can listen to the podcasts here or share them on Facebook. Our interactive map is kept up to date with the most recent estimates of refugee and casualty counts and with the most important videos from the ground mapped with context of what's happening and why it matters. In that video box, you'll also find our Prezi-designed backgrounders and our Google Hangouts, a series of interviews and virtual roundtables with insight on the Syria crisis. Over here, we pull in the news as it breaks with a running Google search for the Syria story and tweets from the most relevant Syria voices on Twitter. The op-ed section features opinion and analysis from our community of contributors and from the greater pool of Syrian bloggers. Thanks for coming to Syria Deeply. We hope it'll help you walk away smarter. We're always improving and fielding your feedback on how to make this the best news knowledge experience it can be. Thank you so much to the National Press Foundation for honoring what has truly been a labor of love and of devotion to a very difficult story. I receive it on behalf of our incredible team. Some of them are here with us tonight. Azeo Fables, Adora Udoji, Katerina Montgomery, Kristen Nolan, and of course to the many Syrian journalists writing for us in country pseudonymously who have given us the, the honor and the privilege of carrying their work in English and in Arabic. The story of Syria Deeply uh, itself started when I was covering the Middle East for Bloomberg Television and ABC News, covering the Arab Spring. And I noticed that because Syria came last in the order of revolutions, it got the least attention. It was hard enough to follow and extremely complex to expect our audience to catch up quickly with the dynamics of that conflict was in a way asking too much in the digital age. We approached this notion of redesigning the user experience of the Syria story, of actually taking on the creative reordering of foreign news. And I took a pause from television to basically start a website with a volunteer army that turned into a sustainable social enterprise, uh, in-depth news analysis for not just the next generation, but for a new notion of what it means to pursue our craft, to see news as adult education, to approach it as knowledge transfer, and to build a digital native platform that would allow us to apply almost a tech-oriented, user-centric systems thinking approach to how we cover complexity. I consider it a species-level issue and a professional obligation to try our way toward a new formula, because the world is becoming far too complex for us to understand. Now, I think some of this is a lot, uh, an almost a, a love song and a thank you to the news organizations that have been incredibly dedicated to covering Syria. We have partnered with a good number of them, from ABC News to Vice Media to The Guardian. They've been incredibly gracious in the way we've shared content and become a crossroads of information of different kinds. We, we consider that, I think, our greatest triumph. 
We have an incredible partnership with the National Council for the Social Studies, turning our content into an open lesson plan for teachers so they can teach Syria. And we'll be, actually we've just received a very generous grant to build Teach Afghanistan next, because as we shared Teach Syria with teachers in this country, they said, can you please do Afghanistan? Because we have so many students whose parents are serving there and we can't explain why. So that's how I see journalism in our age as an opportunity to pursue knowledge transfer. And when I think of the upcoming anniversary of the Syrian uprising, which falls next week on March 15th, and I think of the upwards of 10 million Syrians in need of aid and 250,000 Syrians at risk of starvation, it makes this single subject approach to journalism all the more vital. We will not move off this story. And we are working our way toward the opportunity to do Congo deeply, Myanmar deeply, Arctic deeply, oceans deeply, and we've been asked to do Alzheimer's deeply. Wherever there is a need for complex information conveyed with simplicity. We, it is our pleasure to be doing this work and a true privilege to be honored for it tonight. Thank you.